Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a video in, in one of the problem in electrodynamics. So I choose, I chose this, this problem from, uh, from one book which is called, uh, so the book is um, Mathematical Physics from Weber and Arifkan. So I choose this one of the problems and the, the problem is related to, to electrodynamics and uh, the, the number of problem is 1.11.6. So this is the, this is the problem. And uh, the problem says that that uh, we have D, which is uh, uh, electric uh, electric uh, displacement vector. So and uh, we have uh, one of the Maxwell's equations, which is this one. So I'm using the uh, the uh, C G S uh, system or Gaussian system. So uh, for for this for for this uh, for this system, the, so th those constants appear uh, appear to be here. A rho, uh, rho is the the charge density per per unit per unit volume, and uh, the problem maybe maybe you should you should read the problem alone. So it's uh, it's in page. Let me see what what is the page of this problem. Uh, sixty three. So in page sixty three, the problem one point eleven point six. So the problem says that we have some surface. So this is the surface, and uh, some electromagnetic field come come this way. So th those are the arrows of ele electromagnetic uh, radiation or field or waves, uh, whatever you want to call it. And it says that at the boundary between two media. So this is. Uh, down here is media uh, media one, which which uh, we we can write epsilon two epsilon one and uh, mu one. So the the magnetic constant and the electric constant, and for media two, we can call epsilon two and mu two. So the problem is that show that a boundary condition for D is D2 minus D1 times N which is equal to sigma and this sigma is uh, the charge surface charge densi uh, density so this is rho is the volume charge density and this sigma is a surface charge density so for this reason I'm going to use Maxwell's equations one of them and I'm going to to, to write a, um, a picture so Let's let's write the one of the Maxwell's equations, which is divergence of d vector is equal to four pi rho. Or we can write this divergence with operator times d, which is four pi rho. So we we write like this. And this is the surface which I'm going to use and uh, here is some 
as right like like a small cylinder this is a small cylinder here is the, in the media media epsilon 2 epsilon 2 mu 2 and epsilon 1 mu 1 so the electromagnetic field is is coming this way and this is the 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 surface the surface of this of this plane so this plane is t and here also we have the down downward of of the of the the cylinder let's call this unit vector n12 this is the normal vector in 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 this tangent in this uh, tangent plane or, or or simply the plane uh, the 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 height the height of uh, cylinder is delta h which is separated as delta h1 and delta h h2 so we have uh, also the area this area up here is del uh, delta a2 and this is delta a1 we also have two unit vectors in those uh, in those areas which is uh, n2 and down here n1 so how do we prove this d2 vector minus d1 vector times n in this case it would be n2 n12 4 pi sigma remember i am using the cgs system of units so if you if you don't use the cgs system so you don't need this constant so also this constant so let me write this the divergence of d is equal to 4 pi rho and i'm going to integrate this equation over the volume so we integrate the divergence of d over the volume is equal to 4 pi rho dv and now I, i'm going to use one of the theorems i don't remember which one maybe gauss theorem so i'm converting this the the uh, the integral volume to the uh, to the sur uh, to the surface vol uh, to the surface integral maybe it would be stokes theorem i don't remember now but m maybe i i can tell you i can tell you later so this integral here would be uh, d vector times n which is times ds which is equal to 4 pi rho dv now uh, we have those two uh, those two surfaces of cylinders so cylinder a uh, uh, a uh, a1 and a2 so we are going to use the limit so we use the limit because uh, Uh, we use limit because uh, the we want that the delta h uh, a1 and delta a, a2 would be very very small so the the d the vector uh, the vector of of this uh, the electric displacement would be the constant so we can we can write this so delta h1 with it, which is equal to minus delta h2 because the vector are point are pointing in in different directions and we, we will write this as delta a for for very for very very small as the limit as h delta h goes to zero this this holds and delta h1 which is equal to de, delta h2 which is minus delta h so for these con for these conditions the electric displacement vector so d is constant for these 
for these conditions. And now we can write like this. The integral of d1, I'm writing the, the index, upper index, I would say, times uh, n1 times delta h1, because the surface is the, the surface of cylinder uh, is uh, uh, delta h, delta h1, a1, sorry, plus d2 times n2 times delta a2 plus, so I'm writing this, it is necessary to to, to say that there are some contribution, contributions or, or, um, between the walls. So the, these are the walls of the cylinder. So we have contributions uh, from walls. And this would be equal to 4 pi times sigma delta A. So sigma delta A is the the uh, charge density per unit volume, sigma delta A. But only sigma is charge density surface per per unit surface. So this is charge. So this is charge density for unit surface. And we can write the as, so for these conditions, D is constant. So D1 is a constant, so goes before integral. And those two are also constant. So N1 times delta A1 plus D2 times N2 times delta A2 which is now, when the age goes to zero, we don't have walls. So the contributions from walls is zero. So this is equal to four pi sigma delta A. So for these conditions, we have uh, D1 times N times N. So N1, so I, I, I would write that N1, is equal to minus n2, which we write, uh, is equal to plus n, oh, sorry, sorry, n1 is equal to my minus n2, n2 one, and n2 is equal to unit vector n12. So I can write that this is minus because we have we have this minus here and one two times delta a which is delta a here um, plus d two and one two delta a which is four pi sigma delta a so now i will i i can write so d1 times n12 vector times delta a plus d2 n12 times delta a for pi sigma delta a so those delta a goes so those And we can write that d2 minus d1 times the unit vector and 1, 2 is 4 pi sigma. So this is the result. If you are using other si other unit system, because I am using the Gaussian uh, unit system that appears this four pi here, so this four pi uh, 
comes from the the Maxwell's equation which is for the divergence of D which is 4 pi rho so in other units the Maxwell's equations equation would would be divergence of D is only rho and this one you, you will not get this one so in other units so this is the result so you can you can see you can see your your problem so so the 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 problem was the problem was to prove this one here and we proved that d2 minus d1 times n12 is 4 pi c sigma I said I said that for for this uh, for this pi you need to use other uh, other system but but the, that's not the point of of the problem the point of problem is this equation here so this n is here by I I chose I choose n12 because the problem that that I gave you with with tangent plane was with two 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 pieces of cylinder. So this is this is the end of this of this problem. So this is the result. So we proved that. Thank you for watching.